Hello everybody, my name is Alexander and today I want to show you some of my orchids. The biggest orchids on YouTube? Well, I think I haven't seen bigger orchids on YouTube than this. Well, maybe a few, but let's take a look. This is a big vase and the orchid is it's huge itself and it has lots of flowers, like so many flowers here. I haven't counted actually. Well, I have counted when it was still buds and I think it's about 70, uh, like 69, something like this, almost 70. And I have chopped a few here accidentally, of course. And I have some smaller orchids, of course, they're about to bloom as well. And this one, it has three spikes, it has three new spikes and a fourth spike, I just saw a fourth spike is coming, I'm shocked, honestly. This one, this, this one is so small, it's, I think it's called Taisuko Cobalt or something like this, and it has two new spikes, of course it's small, it's, it's a small orchid, it, it won't grow this big because it's just, it, it's small itself, and it has two new spikes, flower stalks, I mean, and uh, I saw two more coming, they are still small there, I will show you closer. And here is this orchid, I thought, well of course I have more orchids, but I just, uh, I picked some of them just to show you and I have a huge, I have about, uh, not 100, but almost 100 orchids, I haven't counted actually. It's 95 something like this, I think, just, uh, it just, I looked and counted, like I didn't count uh, every orchid, I just, it's just what I think. And it has, it, it's old, old flower stalks and here is a new one, it still haven't opened. And the leaves are huge, of course they are, are all repotted. I will show you later, uh, later what I use. I use just regular bark and sometimes I use moss. I don't use clay balls. Well, actually this huge Vases, yes, it does not have any holes and it's growing fine. Uh, it has some clay balls on the bottom. Sometimes I use clay balls on the bottom, but I do not use it as the main medium. Just, I don't like it. I think orchids is growing worse in the clay balls. I know it's very popular to grow them in clay balls or just without soil at all and it let me tell you it does not work like you won't get this huge blooming's in open so-called open system when there is no media at all this system i call it closed system uh and yeah we call it among russians we call it closed system because it has no holes at all and yes they are grown fine what is the key to get so many flowers like this well, I think watering, of course, is very important. Light is very important. I have artificial light. Of course, the sunlight is not enough, especially in the winter time. It's very dark outside and uh, of course it's not enough. So I have artificial lights for my orchids. I might show you later if you want. And uh, big pots, of course, the root system is very important to grow it big root and leaf system uh, to get so many flowers and but the key to get so many new spikes is it's not fertilizer it's fertilizer is number 10 on the list it's it's just not so important of course I fertilize my orchids and I will show you later how but it's nothing special the key is actually low temperature well by by low temperature I don't mean freezing them or putting them in the fridge or putting them outside, bringing them outside, no. It's just, uh, usually it's, for me it's 20 degrees. It's 20 degrees, it's quite cool temperature and it's not so cold, so they are, they are going to grow new spikes, it, it's going to stimulate them. But I don't recommend to stimulate uh, orchids that are weak, uh, so leaf and root system is very important. So that's gonna bring you so many flowers and new flower stalks and they're gonna excite you. 
Let's take a closer look on what I have here. This is a big lip. It's very cute. It's almost like rainbow. Well, it's white with some pink here, but it's it looks like rainbow for me. It's still not fully open. And there are some more buds here, as you can see. And yes, this is the glow system, what I call the glow system. It has no holes. This is glass. It's potted in glass, in bark. Quite big pieces of bark here. It had a lot of um, air here, so it was... I did not tuck the bark when I planted it, so there were spaces, many spaces for roots to grow. You can't really see the spaces now because the roots, they filled the spaces. It's very important to have spaces when you plant your orchids. So as you can see, there are more spaces here to, for roots to grow. If it's going to grow here, it has spaces. It's, it's important and the leaves are quite big. It has old uh, stalks here and the new one, of course. This is the smaller orchid. It's called Summer Song and it has this older spike which did not grow. It has three new and I saw one more there. You see it? It's coming. Yeah, it's coming there. And this one is my favorite orchid. The name is Roan. I will write it in the video. And it's just like a regular <laughs> pink orchid, but pink phalaenopsis. But it's very strong. Like it can grow so big. As you can see, the leaves are huge. It's uh, 30 centimeters every leaf. And I planted it in a huge way. It's glass, of course. And as you can see, the root system is just feeling fine there. It's just very perfect. And the clay balls on the bottom. And there is bark. There is some, I don't know, I think it's fern. The fern growing because I added some moss from the forest. And there were fern not the seeds, I don't know how you call it, uh, because fern does not have seeds, it has uh, other <laughs> types of, you know, uh, and the moss is growing as well there, just a little bit. I actually do not like when the moss, the moss is filling the pot like here, because you can't really see the roots, the moss is growing too much here, because th this is, uh, this planting is older and it has so many roots here and of course the flowers uh this one is called clementine yeah it has quite thick leaves like this surf song it also has like egg egg shaped and th this one is sword shaped as you can see it's a little different actually they can grow like it has some of the sword shape here as well, but mostly it's like egg shaped. Oh, here's the smaller orchid. <laughs> it's lost. Uh, this one is actually planted in moss. The moss I gathered from the forest. I think I need to water it right now. As you can see, like the roots are almost uh, gray right now. Actually, I do not dry my orchids. I always keep them moisty. I do not overwater them, of course, but I keep them moisty. Two new flower stalks and two more. They're coming here and there. And here is what it looks with the lights, my orchid forest. Here it is. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments because I will answer if you have any questions. And I am planning to film more videos and I want to show you how I repot them, what I use and what's the technique. It's nothing special actually, <laughs> but the great results. I think I have great results with my orchids. They're all blo blooming. Here is the Cambria. It has one, 
two, three, and there is a fourth one. I just saw it. Here it is. <laughs> it, it had one more, but here it had one more, but it uh, chopped because it wasn't able to get out of the leaf here and it uh, got damaged. So yeah, here it is. And if you like, stay tuned and I will be posting more. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a great day.